Hey guys, little disclaimer on the episode. In between parts, I have been messing with my mic settings and just trying to improve the overall quality of my recording. Uh, that being said, it didn't come out how I wanted to, and I actually kind of made things a little bit worse before they got better. Um, it wasn't. I did test the recordings before actually playing the game, but um, I did not pick up the same. I did not encounter the same problems in the testing that I did once we sat down and recorded a full session. So this is going to be a bit of a different episode today. We're going to. Uh, I think I'm going to narrate a lot of the episode now that I have the audio back where it needs to be. Um, that being said, like it, it will be a different type of part, but we should be back to our routine kind of recordings uh, for episode nine. Thanks. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. An episode or two back, we ate the dog food and spent the last episode trying to recover. Managed to hunt a couple rabbits and make our way back to the camp office. And as you can see, our condition has much improved. That being the case, we're still in a rough spot in terms of food. And I think I've kind of come up with a solution. I think we're going to venture out. I had mentioned going to Muskeg or possibly, uh, what is it, the highway, Desolate Highway. Something like that, Broken Highway, whatever the heck is the opposite direction of Muskeg. Uh, but I had thought about going there. And then I remembered we have that cave that heads over to Milton, the mountain town. That's where we're going to go. This episode, we're going to head over there, do a bit of looting, and uh, there's got to be some food there. There's plenty of buildings to raid. I'm sure we'll find some good gear, um, and it's a good spot to spend a couple of parts and just kind of see what we can find, uh, explore a new region, and uh, get ourselves acclimated uh, with a new area. Despite the wolf trailing us the entire way, we made it through Mystery Lake in the Mountain Town Cave without incident. On the other side, we gathered a few cattails and continued in search of Milton. Now, in order to move from the Mystery Lake area to Milton, we needed to scale down one cliff face, move across the valley, and then scale up the other side. It was here we found our first sign of civilization in hours. We quickly surveyed the area and moved on. I can't feel my feet. Dad. Just down the path appeared to be a rundown office equipped with a small stove and a memento key. I wonder if that's the key I needed for the dam. Carrying on, we came across several unique locations before we reached the heart of Milton. Anything right now. But you'd walk down the hill, not off it. Milton Park. Ooh, I know that band. The Orca Gas Station. What is that noise? It's horrible. Oh, I left my pry bar like an idiot. Once in town, there was nothing left to do but loot. And loot we did. What you got? Anything good? I better take this food. Literally was talking about raiding somebody's fridge. Yeah, I'll take that. Antibiotics? Yeah, I guess so. Socks. I don't even think I have socks. There's gotta be something useful in here. Is the macaw jacket good? Let's hope I never have to use this on anyone. Hey, Dennis. Use this. All right, guys. So Milton is deserted, but we've arrived. We did find some good upgrades to our gear, like the Mackinac jacket and mucklugs. 
I ended up cutting a lot of the footage, uh, but we are doing better in terms of food. Um, unfortunately, I left the pry bar back at the camp office, but we lucked out and found one towards the end of the day. I think in the next part, we'll probably check out the Orca gas station. Uh, and I also found a note for a hidden stash in a church. Um, so that seems kind of interesting. I'll probably check that out as well. Uh, I'm here in the edit right now, and this is going to be a drastically shorter episode, but we should return a normal format in the next one. I do appreciate everybody watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot, and if you're interested in seeing more long, dark content, consider subscribing. But that's going to do it for me. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.